Hello, welcome to another video by katytech.org. I'm Crazy Dave, and uh, this is how to get your Droid Charge up to the newest operating system and rooted all in one package. Uh, basically, uh, Verizon finally got a uh, release of uh, the updated Gingerbread, which includes new radios, new kernels, new all kinds of underlying pieces to your phone. And the uh, phone runs a lot faster and a lot smoother, a lot better battery management. Uh, Power management system is awesome, uh, but of course, like me, uh, a lot of you still want root. So I'm going to show you how to get it all in a couple of steps. Um, it out it dates my uh, previous video here, uh, so you can go ahead and watch that for learning purposes. But uh, this video will bring you up to par. Okay, you're going to go ahead and need to get a few things set up. Uh, first, you're going to need Odin for your computer, uh, assuming that you're running Windows. I'm running uh, Windows 7 on a Mac Air. There's also uh, Hemdale, which is a whole other process if you're going to be using the Lion OS. Or uh, there's other issues if you're going to run into using Linux. But strictly for Windows, uh, you're going to download Odin. And then you're going to uh, need to download the essentially the operating system, the entire file package system. Um, the good news is, thanks to the developers out there like I'm Nuts and a couple others from XDA Developers, uh, they put everything together in one package so it's real easy to get. You download it, uh, and then you'll flash it over via Odin to your telephone. Okay, once you have your uh, necessary files downloaded to your computer, you can go ahead and put your phone into download mode. You're going to need to take out the battery and the SD card. Don't forget to take out the SD card because you risk frying it. It has happened to some people. I haven't seen it happen personally, um, but I've had reports that other people have fried their SD card during the flashing and roaming process. All right, now that your card and battery are out, go ahead and hold the volume down button. And then while holding the volume down button, plug in your phone to the computer with Odin running. Up in the left hand corner you're going to see a COM port appear. It doesn't matter what number it says, it just needs to highlight and become yellow and say COM something on it. That means your phone was recognized. Your phone itself will populate a yellow triangle uh, that says download. Uh, that way you know everything's all set up and ready to go. Alright, uh, you're going to need to click PDA only and that'll populate your window box to look for wherever your file is. Mine goes to the download folder. You need to find that .tar file. Once you've selected that, uh, you go ahead and click the start button for process, but make sure that you have selected the PDA button, not any of the other buttons. Don't get it mixed up. You can go ahead and then watch it start processing. Um, Give it a little bit of time, and then here's an image of your telephone. It'll be processing also simultaneously, having a little taskbar run across it. Uh, once you're all finished, uh, you'll see a pass pop up in the top corner there, and you'll see, in my case, 4 minutes 56 seconds. Just give it a little bit of time. Go ahead and uh, unplug it, throw the battery back in, and you can go ahead and begin the startup process. Give it time. The first boot up is slow because it's a brand new phone again, so it's going to take a little while. If you get stuck in a boot loop where it goes through the eyeball for a while, then the eyeball goes away and Samsung comes back and it just keeps kind of going in a circle, uh, you can go ahead and follow this process. You may have to do this anyways. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything because the phone's new anyway, so you're not going to be erasing anything uh, because everything's gone. Okay, with the phone off, hold volume up, the home button, and while simultaneously doing that, press the power button, and then go ahead and release the power button uh, when you see the Samsung logo pop up. That'll put you in recovery mode to begin this process. Okay, you're going to go ahead and scroll down and using the uh, volume keys, wipe cache partition select that by hitting the power button and then go down wipe cache 
from here once that's finished you can go ahead and scroll down to advanced select advanced again with the power button go ahead and wipe Dalvik cache go ahead and scroll down again with the volume buttons select it with the power and then here I kind of duplicated this process but uh, I went back and uh, hit the uh, partition wiping uh, for a second round you don't need to do this I just did it but it won't hurt anything um, from there once you've finished that all up uh, you can go ahead and go back and reboot just give it a second make sure you look at the bottom of the phone and make sure it's finished processing it should be fairly quick because the phone's already blank anyways and then from there you can go ahead and uh, it's like reboot give the phone a chance it'll take a little bit of time for it to go through its process just continue to have patience and uh, let it go through all its media processing and scanning and stuff uh, don't mess with it too much and interfere with its processes and after a while it'll fully boot up and uh, once it's once it gets to the point where it wants to uh, have you log in you know with your Google account and so forth um, you can go ahead and uh, turn it off and put the uh, SD card back in and uh, then power it up one more time and it'll be all set um, you can go ahead and check there your firmware and baseband versions and kernel versions and stuff and you'll see you got the new updates that's pretty much the gist of it. You got a brand new phone. So thanks a lot for watching. Um, oh, one last tip. Uh, download Super User. That way you make sure that uh, you're rooted with Super User. Then you can use all your uh, rooted based apps. Uh, thanks a lot for watching again. Uh, please subscribe to this channel if this helped you out. Um, it'd be, it's a great plus for me. And then also if you hit the like button. Uh, thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Bak 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 b